Hello and welcome to the first project of my new React Sprints series. Well, as I already told you in the introduction video about React Sprints, React Sprints is um, kind of a new project that I'm working on. You can say it as a new YouTube series where I'll be exploring various React libraries that can help you as a front-end developer make your job much, much easy. We already discussed about that in the previous video. If you haven't, go check it out. The link is in the description. So in the first project, what are we going to make? I'm going to discuss in this video. And which library, of course, are we going to use? And which library are we going to learn? All this in this video. So we are going to learn a library which is called React Spring. React Spring is a very, very famous library uh, which is used for various animation and transition purposes in, um, in, in with, with React. So I'm just trying to open side along this. I'm just trying to open React Spring in the NPM uh, website. So let's have a look at this. So this is the React Spring library and it has quite a lot of weekly downloads. It has a good documentation. Well, if you go to the official website, they must have the link somewhere here. Anyhow, I'll go to the home page and from here they must have, yeah, this is, the, this is the link to the website. So they have a very, very beautiful website. You can see um, all these things, uh, why you should be using React Spring and all these things. And uh, yeah, definitely it's not just for web, it's, it can be used in native as well. So it's a very, very beautiful and you can say a lightweight library which you can use for smooth transitions and fluid animations in your next React project. So they have a very good documentation as well. So anyhow, we are going to learn this library. We are going to make a very beautiful kind of project and we are going to have fun with this library. So coming back to the presentation, just a second. Yeah. So coming back, uh, let's take a look at the final project. What are we going to build in today's video? Uh, not video, I'm going to say today's video playlist, today's video series. Just give me a second. So I have started my React app. So I kind of built this already for you to show you the final, final, uh, you can say product, final project. Uh, it's just taking a couple more minutes. Just give me a little bit of time. It started. So this is what we are going to build today. We are going to build Carousal. Uh, basically, I'm going to show you how to build Carousal with React Spring Library. We're going to build a quick uh, kind of a landing page for your for your website and stuff. So this is how it's going to look like. Beautiful, very clean, and see the animations. We are going to build different Carousals with different animations. See, it zooms in. This one just uh, kind of fades in and fades out, something like that. This one rotates on the y-axis. This one rotates on the kind of a uh, center wise, you can say. And yeah. And by the way, I'm going to teach you the basic concepts. So these four, by the end of the video, not only these four, you will be able to make thousands of different animations with, with the React Spring library. It's going to be fun. It's going to be really, really fun. Trust me, guys. And yeah, let's continue. Before ending this video, just let's just have do a couple more things. I'm going to tell you uh, what you should already know before watching this video. So I am assuming that you already have a basic level understanding of JavaScript, React.js and React hooks, just a little bit. I'm not telling that you should be perfect in that, but at least you should know things like what is a component, what's a functional component, and how to, and what's the state of a component, how to set a state and so on. Just these three things. It's very, very basic things of React.js, very basic thing. And, and I also assume that you already have Node.js installed. If you have not done that, you can go to nodejs.org or you can just 
go to google.com and type install node.js and just click on the first link and install the node.js it's it's going to be a very very simple node.js uh, very very simple installation so coming back now what i'm going to tell you is a little bit of environment setup and after that that's it we are going to stop so what i'm going to do is just create a new just go to anywhere in your system and open your terminal if you or your command prompt I'll open my command prompt and inside your command prompt you just have to type a simple command so that you have your environment ready create npx create react app I'll zoom in a little for you guys so npx create react app and the name of the app basically I'm going to name it carousel you can name it anything carousel I'm bad at the spelling so I don't know whether it's right or not but I don't care so npx create react app in carousel that's it once this is done it is going to create a new folder which is called carousel it's just going to take a couple minutes not more than that if it takes more than that then i'm going to stop this video and come back in the next video but what there is also a next step that you have to do once this installation is done what you need to do is cd into the carousel so it's going to create a new folder for you which is going to be called carousel and inside that you need to uh, run this small command npm install react spring so that you have the react spring installed in your system so i think for me it's going to take a little bit more than just a couple of minutes okay i think it's already almost done uh, should we wait or should we not that's a good question i'm going to and by the way i'm not going to edit any of my videos these are just going to be a kind of a live hands-on session so in between i can go wrong i can definitely go wrong at places and whenever i go wrong i will be debugging the code in front of you i will not be editing any part i will not be cutting any part from the video it's going to be a heart to heart conversation between me the lean programmer and you watching the video right now i can make mistakes you can make mistakes but we'll get them fixed together so i am not going to edit any part of it so yeah this can be boring because um, sometimes i can spend some time in gossips and all but uh, just bear with me anyhow so our npx create react app name of the app this command ran successfully and what i'm going to do is in case it doesn't run successfully for you just let me know in the comments what all issues you are facing we'll debug them together we'll fix that so now you will see the carousel folder will be created for you now what i'm going to do is cd into carousel <coughs> sorry and now I'm going to run the final command npm install react spring it's a very very lightweight application it's it should be done within a few seconds um, maximum it should take 10 or 15 seconds or more, not more than that uh, sometimes it can take more depending on your network of course my network is kind of slow but anyhow so that's it uh, I'll see you in the next video. Just wait for it to get done. Okay, bye-bye. Do show up in the next video as well. We are going to learn a lot of things. Bye. Oh, wait. I think this is already done. So I don't want to leave the final step for the next video because the next video I am going to start uh, new things, completely new. That's it. Yeah, in Fimbri install react spring it's done so the final thing is i'm going to open this folder in my text editor which is visual studio code vs code i use vs code i love vs code if you're using something else that's also fine text editor does not matter at all you can use any text editor i use vs code so this is what it's going to be looking like we'll do a few things we'll change a few things around here uh, in the next video so for now bye bye see you in the next video bye